Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode, I'm going to pick up where I left off with our mini-series on package managers. In the last episode, I did Conan, and I just had a couple of minor sticking points, but it worked out pretty well. So I'm next going to try Hunter, and I'm going to see if by following the instructions on Hunter's website, I can get a package going. Hunter is going to have a slight advantage over Conan, and that is not related to a problem with Conan at all. It's the fact that I already have a working sample CPP file for the project that I am testing. And that project is the well-regarded FMTlib, which is a type-safe formatting library for C++ that kind of gives us some of the flexibility of printf without all of the overhead that IO Streams gives us. So then this again will be the first time that I have ever used Hunter, and I will be recording it here for you to experience it along with me. And hopefully we can again have a successful test. So this is the official Hunter page, and this is on GitHub again, R-U-S-L-O slash Hunter. And there is some other link here. I don't know where it goes. I'm going to start with the GitHub page. That is how I tend to start things. And I see that there is links to the documents and the packages. Now, if you didn't watch last episode again, the reason I am starting with the FMT lib is that it is supported by default in all of the package managers that I'm looking to use. So I'm going to start with this docs.hunter.sh and see what happens. So Hunter is a CMake-driven cross-platform package manager. Let's start with the quick start, and perhaps we'll start with one of the official examples. Copy the huntergate.cmake into your project. This is a gate to the Hunter package manager. I don't know what this means. I have a pretty recent version of CMake installed, so I don't imagine that will be a problem. Let's look at first steps. Okay, so here we go. We will copy what it says to do. Now I am in my Hunter folder, and let's start copying these lines in. So obviously we need our minimum CMake version. And it would help if I had Vim in the correct mode. Now we need to include this Huntergate project, CMake file here. So this must be how it actually works with CMake, and that seems pretty reasonable. And now we have our Hunter, some Hunter information that it is providing, and we can copy from here. So. So we have the name of the package, linking to it, and our executable. OK, so this is the rest of it. Now, we don't want to use Boost. We want to use the FMT library. And let's assume that it's going to look something like this. So it's clear right off the bat that we're not using any kind of namespacing so far here but hopefully we will down here in our target link libraries. So this doesn't give us a global variable like Conan seemed to. We just need to say what package bits we want to link here. And I'm just going to type FMT right now, and I will not be surprised if that is the incorrect thing to do. But we can start to give this a try. Now we need to create our CMake folder, and we need to acquire this file. Where is the link to it? Huntergate. It says to copy the Huntergate module to my project and include it. So I'm going to assume that it means literally the Huntergate file. Here it is. Would have been nice to have had a direct raw link to it there. OK, theoretically, that is where we want it to be. And we need our CPP file. And we're going to copy that from the Conan project. And if you weren't around for that project, this is very simple. We're just including the header that we want 
and IO streams, and we're outputting something that's been formatted, an integer into a string using the format library. According to this, I can just build it. Let's see what happens. And I will build in a subdirectory like, just like I did with the Conan. And we'll see what happens. Clearly we could see in the command line down there that it was downloading the correct package. Calculating toolchain, I don't know what that means. Building, if it's finding GCC. Perhaps I should not have used ccmake for this. Interesting. So it seems that during the configure process, Hunter is actually going and building the required dependency for me. It also seems to be putting it in a .hunter file in my user directory. OK. Oh, I don't know if this is going to have to do it again because, OK, here we go. Let's see what all it put in here. It seems to have done a bunch of stuff. Well, and we have a make file. Let's see if it compiles. And it did. And just like with Conan, I want to see where it's actually getting these files from. It seems to have included it from our .hunter folder. Now, this is a fascinating decision that they have decided to say that this is a system include. Now, by specifying that this is a system include folder, it means that if this library were to generate any warnings for us, they would not be exposed to us at all by making it a system include folder here. I think that is probably a poor decision. I don't... Um, I don't want users of my library to be completely hidden from the misuse of my library because this dash i system had been put in here. So there's you know ways to misuse a library that would generate warnings and not necessarily errors. So I think that's a bit of a mistake personally, but the process was relatively straightforward and clean, and we seem to have gotten the format library working exactly as we would expect it to here in Hunter. And we can execute it, and it prints 42. And now just for the fun of it, it does seem that it was statically linked. I didn't look at that before here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we can see static linking happening here. And let's go back to the Conan one. And it also did a static linking. I don't know if that's the default for the format library or not. So that was pretty straightforward. We got Hunter working with minimal pain, I think, although some of the instructions and some of the decisions maybe I would have done a little bit differently. But that's the example project here. And it's really just a couple of files. We've got our CMake list and our test file. And then we had to manually copy in manually copy in this hunter gate.cmake file so that it could find the appropriate packages. Now my understanding, I know that Conan works cross-platform. My understanding is that Hunter does also. And considering that Hunter builds the package for you right then and there in place, it must be using the exact right flags and everything and the risk of it grabbing something uh, not working correctly on a cross-platform environment is probably pretty low. So thanks for watching this episode. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Be sure to subscribe. Leave comments. Check out any of the other video links. And catch the next episode in this mini-series on packaging libraries where I will be discussing the new cross-platform package library from the Microsoft Visual Studio team.